in Misfits. And now with Danzig, you you got to go out. You know, you handpicked your your own group of musicians. Uh, can you tell us about you know why these choices, who you chose, and how it all came together? Um, well, originally when I, I did this deal with Rick, Rick Rubin, uh, yeah, Rick Rubin, mm -hmm. uh, the idea was that I wanted to put together a great band, and so that's what I did. Yeah, we had guitar auditions, and that took about six months. John Christ is the guy who won the auditions. He's an incredible guitar player, great stage presence. And um, Chuck Biscuits, always been one of my favorite drummers. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the best drummers around today. And uh, Erie Vaughn? Erie Vaughn is uh, the bass player from Sam Hain. Me and him are really good friends, and he's a great bass player. You kind of like a deal, you tagged him along there? Mm, not really <laughs> tagged him along. Yeah. Just brought him on strong. Yeah. Um, does this now give you a lot more opportunity to uh, to concentrate on writing and, and singing? Yeah. In this concert? Yeah, I don't have to worry about doing all the other stuff, like in the studio or playing guitar or any of that stuff. I have a real band. How about the, the collaboration with Rick, with Rick Rubin? Rick's great. Yeah? Yeah, he's That's a good producer. And when you get a producer, you want somebody who's going to be like uh, another voice. And he comes up with a lot of good ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, some are good, some aren't. The ones that are good, you use. Mm -hmm. Once you're not, you don't use them. Hang with us for a little bit longer for uh, at least the next hour if you got the time. Got we'll be showing you a brand new video. In the meantime, Cakes, who are back with their brand new one, it's Blow My Fuse. We're talking about uh, Danzig. Now, about the new, uh, the new album, I was listening uh, to the lyrics. A, a lot of it deals about, uh, or talks about the people dealing with uh, uh, good and evil inside or within themselves. Uh -huh. Now, what fascinates you with this particular topic? Just uh, the whole topic. Uh, anything in, like, in particular you'd like to say? Um, I guess it's just man's struggle with himself. Mm -hmm. If he would just realize that he's both good and evil, he wouldn't always be down on himself so much. Mm -hmm. How about, um, you know, when uh, there's so many evil things going on uh, in the world, you, we have uh, war and wars in different parts of the country, and whenever... Yeah, that's good. When, <laughs> that's good? It's, it's history. It's mankind. When, whenever it gets into music, people always seem to freak out, though, even though, you know, it's like it's happening all around us. Um, I think, uh, especially music like you're playing on tonight's show, should be a little volatile. Children are growing up, they have to learn about things and they can't learn about it just through books. They have to learn about it through experiences. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, that particular period of a child's life is very turbulent, because they're learning about the world. And uh, it's something that parents can't take away from them either, because it's something they have to learn on their own. They'll learn when something's not right and when something is right. Mm -hmm. And the parents should just be there maybe to guide them around and say, all right, you know, help them through it. So, uh, are we talking here about uh, the original sin in a way? Just talking about life. Uh huh. Because ex explain now, Twist of Cain, which is uh, your single and, and video. I mean, this this of course takes me to the you know the, the bad seed within all of us, the the Cain mm -hmm. and Abel uh, yeah. in the Bible. Would you like to elaborate on this? Do you want me to? Please. Well, basically, um, in the original Bible, before even the Jewish Bible. Um, Satan fathered Cain to permit um, Cain to uh, perform the first murder in recorded history. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're passing on history? Yeah. Okay, well, shall we take a look at the video right now? Yeah, great. Here we go. Danzig, Twist of Cain. More of the Headbangers Ball, your regular show that, of course, you always watch on Saturday nights, kicking in at midnight. Um, Glenn Danzig's still with us. I'd like to talk about your influences, because you, you know, your, uh, your lyrics, uh, your, uh, your style r reminds me personally of a lot of different people, but who are your main influences? Um, right now, when I write songs, I really don't have any influences, but when I was growing up, uh, I would say vocally, Elvis, Jim Morrison, Bill Medley, which is a big shock to a lot of people. <laughs> of the Righteous Brothers, yeah. yeah. Great singer. And Roy Orbison. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as lyrically, really nobody lyrically, um, I probably get more influence from, you know, literature, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to song singer-songwriters. Right. Yeah. Now, wh what, are you, what are you listening to right now? I mean, because th those are from the past. What, what do I listen to right now? Yeah. There's not really much I listen to right now that I like. Mm -hmm. So. Does anything come close? A couple of Metallica songs, maybe uh, 
Slayer, Mandatory Suicide, the opening riff to that. It's great. Mm -hmm. Some Motorhead. Now, I heard that, do you have a collection of, of Japanese monster toys? Is, yeah. You gotta tell me about this. Um, I just have a big toy collection. Now, what kind of toys are these? All kinds of toys, but I have a lot of Japanese toys. And then uh, American toys, like from TVs, like the Monsters, uh -huh. uh, Adam's Family, things like that. Well, next time you come in, you really gotta bring some stuff to <laughs> show and tell on the Headbangers Ball. Yeah. What, what's next for Danzig? Uh, another tour. Mm -hmm. Another record. Probably more touring. Well, next time you're in the neighborhood, please drop by and, okay. uh, and hang out with us. And once again, you got to bring something from the Adams family. And, <laughs> and <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for hanging with us. Great. And uh, we got more music for you here on the Headbangers Ball. Here's the brand new Britney Fox. It's Save the Week. Founded by Danzig frontman Glenn Danzig. And we asked Glenn about the Metallica connection. They were always uh, big fans. I met them a long time ago and they always wanted to do uh, Green Hill. And they had asked me and I had sent them the lyrics and uh, the music, you know, the great guys. I knew they'd do a good version of it. I see these are the good things that are happening in rock and roll and heavy metal these days. You know, maybe Danzig should cover a Metallica song. Glenn also had this to say about being an influence on other bands. Better us than Foreigner. Danzig are currently rehearsing songs for their next album, which should be out by summer. 